And now let's go behind the curtain for a look at why school boards have become so contentious. Well, for years, outside money has filtered into these local races. And a bill actually making its way through the state legislature right now would limit how much money these races would receive. Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez explains what the bill aims to do and the arguments for and against it. It was a protest that prompted a push for a change in the Douglas County School District. A protest over masks and COVID restrictions that drew out new candidates for the school board. A school board race that resulted in major campaign contributions. Each of those candidates raised about $90,000, which is quite a lot. Sandra Fish is a data journalist who runs the website followthemoneyco.com. She says this race in particular stood out for all the money involved in what's supposed to be a nonpartisan unpaid position. I went back back for a few years, I think the last two or three cycles, and you just didn't see that sort of big individual money. Douglas County isn't alone. All over the state, school board races are becoming more expensive. But unlike other elected positions, there's no rule about campaign contribution limits. And that's where State Representative Emily Sirota comes in. Over the last 10 years or so, we have seen uh, really tremendous increases in the contributions made to school boards. She's crafted a bill to add new limits to these races, a cap of $2,500 for individuals and $25,000 for small donor committees. But it will eliminate those really outlandish contributions that make everybody's eyebrows raise. During its first committee test last week, campaign limits are appropriate for school board elections. Current Douglas County School Board member Susan Meek testified in favor of the bill. Wealthy donors create an environment where everyday citizens just cannot compete. So did former school board member Kevin Leong, who was outraised by more than $60,000 before losing his race. You wonder whether this newly elected people feel obligated to serve the interests of the financial backer rather than in interest of our students. The bill passed committee, but not before critics like Republican Representative Patrick Neville raised concerns about the potential consequences. Telling Denver 7 in a statement, quote, this bill will only place limits on the average citizen and encourage more dark money. In past Last year's unions and other special interests have spent over $400,000 in Douglas County alone. We've also had candidates loan themselves the likes of $20,000. This bill doesn't prohibit those activities. The bill is now awaiting its next committee hearing. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. And state lawmakers passed a similar campaign contribution limit bill for county elections in 2019. And if passed, the cap for the school board races would still be much higher than for state lawmakers.